Well, ladies and gents, welcome back to the Gaming Apocalypse. I'm Wraith, and this is Telltale's Game of Thrones series. Just a quick reminder before we jump in, you are an awesome person, so keep being awesome to others, all right? All right, let's jump in and see what's going on. <clears throat> all right, so Cotter's shoulder is nice and wounded. Should I be a dick and poke at it? No. Ha! Huh. How bad is it? I might have something that'll help. Just hurry up! Ha! Oh, if you're not gonna help, just leave it alone. <laughs> Alright. Fair enough. I'm sorry. How? I am kind of a dick. Fuck. Just relax, will ya? What is that stuff? Ugh, oh, it smells like sick cow. The maester at House Forester used it on my leg once. I'm not sure what it is, actually. Do you even know what you're doing? Hold that there. You almost done. Oh, God. Does it have to be so tight? It does if you don't want to bleed to death. Yes, maester. Oh. Oh, you got anything to drink? This far north and I still have to fetch the fucking wine. <laughs> Some water or something. Please. I'll see what I can find. You never really get away from home, do you? It's Cotter, there's Finn, and then there's whatever the heck is inside the hut. I mean, you would think there would be something inside the hut, but... Whoever was living here must have left. <clears throat> Too bad they didn't leave anything behind. I mean, they left a nice-looking skin right there. Probably be good for some warmth, if nothing else. All right, big guy, what you got? Still don't trust him, you know. I know. He nearly got us all killed. Fuck, maybe that's what he wanted to happen. Why else would he bring us here? Hey, look. Just give Cotter a chance. He's not so bad. I did give him a chance. And look where we are. I mean... We're at the closest thing to a shelter that we've seen so far. So, I'd say he's doing okay. Oh, I've seen this before. Don't move. I'm warning you. Oh, I'll... I'll gut you like a fucking fish. <laughs> you do look like a sad little fish, don't you? That happened a lot. I can fix it for you. But my friend is hurt. We're just looking for a place to rest. There are others with you. Step back! Want to kill her yourself, or should I do it? Garrett! Drop your weapon! Is that... Garrett! You're outnumbered. You can't fight all of us. Cotter! Oh, Sylvie. You're alive! Who's this fucking snowball? I told you I'd come back. Who are these people? They're friends. Right. You brought crows here. You're planning on introducing us, Cotter? Right. Uh... Huh. Well, this, this is gonna be awkward. Is my sister, Sylvie. She's the reason I brought you here. She can take us to the North Grove. Really? How is she able to take us to the North Grove? High point. Hmm. Looks lovely. Lord Roderick. Lady Alyssa. Gwyn? Roderick, may I have a word? Thank you for accepting my father's invitation. I wasn't certain you'd come. 
But it's a good thing you did. Be honest with me. Am I in danger here? My father honors guest right, just as you do. And I'm supposed to trust my life to that. I wanted us to work together, but you refused. So now my father is doing this his way. If you value your life and your family, you'll listen to what he has to say. You need to take him seriously today, which means keeping a level head and thinking before you jump to conclusions. I'm here in good faith, aren't I? Yes, I suppose you are. You have an impressive stronghold, Lady Gwyn. These walls hold a thousand years of White Hill history. A thousand years of bloodshed. But our houses were close once, and could be again. So much of our history has been lost. Shall we get on with it? The Great Hall is this way. Meeting a visiting Are lord of bared steel? Trouble? They're ready for anything. The way they see it, the enemy is within their walls. What's this? M my lady? Give us a moment. Is this your family? Shortly before Griff was born. Are these your brothers? The eldest three, yes. Coral died of grayscale a few years ago. Ebbets at the Citadel. Corrin serves Roose Bolton. And Griff, of course, wasn't born yet. That must be you. A <laughs> much younger me. Yes. You look a bit like your mother now. Is that your mother? Yes. Though I hardly remember her. She died not long after this was made. Your father doesn't smile much, does he? He used to, when my mother was still alive. My brothers were never kind to Griff. He was boastful, gullible, and quick to anger. So like your dad. But my father always defended him. A white hill is a white hill, he'd say. Mm. Come on. We mustn't keep my father waiting. That's a lot of crossbows. Where's your father? Strange. I'll go find him. I don't like this. Don't show fear. That's what he wants. Ryan for Griff. That's still our plan. We'll follow your lead, my lord. Let's have a look around. Y'all do realize the guards have ears, right? They can hear you. Jesus. Mother, look at this. This ironwood's cracked. I'm not surprised. The White Hills were never any good at the craft. Oi! Step away from that! This feels like a murder barn. This feels an awful lot like a murder barn. But there is a stairwell right here. I really don't want to talk to Duncan. What's but... Lord Whitehill planning? He said he wanted a truce. And I believed it. I 
hope I wasn't a fool. I think you were. Remember what I said. No fear. Right. Just follow my lead and we'll be fine. So when were you talking to him? Bart from the other side. Roderick! Welcome to High Point! Lord. My men say you've been acting a bit tense. You're not nervous, are you? Rob Stark went to a feast, and look what happened. I'm nothing like Walder Frey. And unlike Stark, you don't even have bodyguards. Father, please. Can we just get on with this? called High Point a keep for the gods. What stonework, he said. What craftsmanship. He wouldn't stop talking about it. If you ask me, I'd say he was envious. High Point is very impressive. It is, compared to your pile of timber. Lord, where's Ryan? Always worried about your family, aren't you? Let's toast to family! Won't you toast with me, Roderick? As a symbol of our goodwill? To family. To, to family. family. Now, as lovely as this is, I presume we have business to discuss. Indeed we do. The Ironwood business is thriving, Roderick. In fact, the Boltons want weapons faster than we can make them. And when mm. Roose Bolton wants something, I like to give it to him. So, in other words, you need our help. <laughs> Don't be so damn full of yourself. You foresters are headed for destruction. Yet, you know more about Ironwood than any house in the realm. Would be a shame for all that knowledge to be lost. Help me craft ironwood for the Boltons, and I'll make sure you foresters survive. That's absurd. If you think you can threaten I'm us... I'm not threatening. I'm offering. So you're proposing an alliance? An alliance? I said nothing of the sort. Yeah, yeah, you did, He'd actually. make us his slaves. Roderick, this could save your house. I'd consider an alliance. You see what I have to put up with? Just give him time. I told you... I offer you peace, and you spit at it. No, you offer I me offer slavery. opportunity, and you demand more. I've seen this coming since you refused to kiss my ring. Here's how it's gonna go. You're Rick. not the warden. I would never kiss your ring. Either you agree to my terms... Or I'll have Griff tear Iron Wrath to the ground. He'll put it to the torch. This isn't the way to Let get what you want. Let me get slaughtering your small folk. Maybe he'll even make you watch. I'm, I'm just gonna let him rage. He's locked in our cellar. Damn it, Duncan! Shut the fuck what are you up. Talking about? You are not here to talk, moron. Along with every Jesus. soldier in your foul garrison. You didn't. I should have gone by myself. He was there by order of the Warden of the North. Roderick, how could you? I'll gladly return him if my brother returns home. We want Ryan back, and we want him today. <sighs> this is why I should have gone alone. It would have been far, far easier. Bring the boy. Ryan! Mother! Roderick! 
I... I thought you'd forgotten about me. No! Oh, no! What are you doing? You imprisoned my flesh and blood. Mine! Let him go! He's not going anywhere! Listen to her! Don't I do swear this. by the gods if you hurt The him. lady, get down! He's a child! Uh, a son for a son! This is not what we agreed. Blame him! Not me! If you want to see Griff alive You again. think I give two shits about Griff? <laughs> about my fucking fourthborn? Power! Oh, I want to kill you right now! Because your forest has never learned. I'm not afraid of you! Just say the word, my lord. Kill me, Run. and we all die! Roderick, do something! Let me go! Everyone, please! No. Go on, then. Do it! What? You think I want? I know you want. Don't test him, Roderick. Because for all your bluster, all your posturing, you care about your son. Whiten is still a white. You know what, Roderick? You're right. Uh. <coughs> Ryan, come here. No. We'll make the trade on neutral soil. Griff for Ryan. A son for a son. <coughs> Fine. Now, get the fuck out of my hall. And the gods have mercy on us both. When the Boltons come for their ironwood. Now go. It's been a pleasure, Lord. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Roderick. <laughs> Well, that was a fun escalation that didn't need to happen. Yeah, Duncan's the traitor. There it is. There's no reason for him to have blurted that out East like he Watcher. did. He is straight up the traitor. Now listen up. That's a lot of None guards. None of those guards can live long enough to light that beacon. Because if they do, this invasion gets a whole lot fucking harder. Don't drop that. Is that a harpy? Of course it is. Those golden tits are everywhere in this bloody city. If those guards light the rope, the fire travels up to the bowl, and the whole city will know we're here. So we stop them. Aye. I mean, it feels like if you hit the rope with a arrow that has a big enough broadhead on it you could cut the rope and they can't light it anymore how many men do you think are in there hard to know for sure at least five maybe more to answer your question too many to fight head on we'll need to take those two out first come on let's get moving Beska. Hmm. It's nothing. Just forget it. Is it Dazor? He's dead. You gave him what he deserved. Time to move on. Not him I'm worried about. It's Croft. I hope he doesn't. Uh, it's done now. If we get Croft's objective done, he won't care. I'll take him. I've got the other one. Just keep an eye on her. I don't need him to watch me. Then prove it! What have you heard? Just sit outside the gates waiting. <laughs> Mother of dragons. She wants to scare us, but she won't do it. Not us. <laughs> <laughs> Really? Come on, Telltale. Y'all are better than that. Doing that isn't quiet. People flop around a lot and they take a while to die. Like we'll the stab through up. the heart? Yes, One that works. Go high and try to but... climb over to the other side. What about them? That's why someone needs to stay down <sighs> here. They get behind cover and shoot the men up top. Just don't let that one see you. 
So, which will it be? We'll go over the top. You just make sure you clear the way. To be fair, that, that actually is, like, shockingly good reload time for that crossbow. Easy job. I mean, use the less capable guy for the easier job. What happened? Not important. Keep moving. Quick, the guards on the roof. We'll take care of it. Barricade the door. I've got it. Go. S more sneaky, sneaky stuff. No, 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 no. It's too much. What? It's too much. You'll ruin it. I know what I'm doing. Doesn't look like you do. Say something? Well? You said you're a little rat. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Nothing. Just keep doing it, little. Tell me when you saw it free. Clear down there. Hey. All clear. They're still up there. On the right. Take them out, and you'll be clear to secure the beacon. They break through. I'll keep them busy. We took on the Lost Legion by ourselves. This is nothing. We stick to Croft's plan. Take care of them first. All right. Crossbows tend to hurt a lot when they hit you, so... I needed to come all the way up here to do that, I don't know, but...
Hmm. Well, hello. I the lookout. Light it! Light it! Down! Stop him! Cut the rope. There you go. The torch! Ah, he's going to light the beacon! Veska! All out! Like the beacon, if there isn't a beacon up there anymore. <laughs> oh, I can't believe you did it. Croft! Croft! Quit your whimpering. I'm not dead yet. Good. Hear that? Sounds like the sound of freedom. Starting. Or at least the sound of a riot. Home at last. Back at High Point, I wasn't sure your brother would survive the day. He nearly didn't. I was terrified when you called Lud's bluff, but you knew exactly what you were doing. Yeah. And now Ryan will be coming home. Amazing how that He'll stuff works, isn't it? in his bed. Eat at our table. We'll celebrate once Ryan has returned safely. We still need to make the trade. You're right, of course. Still, you did well today. Don't lose sight of that. My lord, look! Where are the gods? What did you do, Duncan? Why are there arrows everywhere? Dahlia? Sir Ryland! Where are the Glenmores? Where's anybody? <laughs> Wait here. <laughs> Come on. Don't be so dreary. It was a joke. I'm sorry, I... I should have laughed. Oh. Ramsey Snow is here. Great. Uh, I didn't mean to... Perhaps a song instead. I hear you've written a touching song about your dead brother. Am I in it? Let's hear it, shall we? No. No? I won't. Roderick! Roderick! Welcome back. Lord Ramsay, welcome to Ironrath. How courteous. Now I know where your sister gets her manners. We've had a lovely time together. Haven't we, Tali? Say it. Say it's been lovely. It's been lovely. And you. I'm told you're a man who can't be broken. I've decided to come see for myself. So, no, this is not going to be fair. 
because Ramsey is a major character. He has massive Ethan amounts of was plot the best armor. Forester I killed. Doesn't have to be the last. You don't know what you're in for, Garrett. What you're asking my brother to do. The North Grove isn't what you think it is. Justice was for Marine to deliver, not you. But we did as you commanded. These aren't cell swords, Asher. They're killers. Roderick! I can't believe I trusted him. I know you and my brother were in contact. Perhaps he told you things. Things that might prove his guilt. Perhaps you are not to be trusted either. Oh, you're not listening, Garrett. Shh. Apparently, Garrett is doing a better job of listening than you are, based off of that little clip, but I guess we'll find out one way or the other, won't we? Um, interesting episode. So this already tells me we're going to be in for a very unfair time at Iron Wrath, purely because Ramsey Snow has mad amounts of plot armor. He won't get his until he gets it in the show. So anything that he does to us, I'm not going to be able to get any kind of vengeance for. So that's that's a little bit awkward. I'm not sure how much I like about that. Hmm. It also sounds like Daenerys is not going to give me any reason to like her again. So that'll be entertaining. Um... Yeah, I find it interesting they don't put any music over the credits. It's kind of odd. Though, then again, I mean, I've been hit with copyright because of the main theme during the intro every time, so maybe it's a good thing they didn't put anything over the credits. Uh, I could be wrong, but I feel like Duncan is our traitor at Iron Wrath. I feel like he is the big traitor. I'm also wondering what can be done about Lud Whitehill and his little, uh, shall we say, his attempts to build himself a small army of sellswords. Uh, first off, I'm wondering where he's getting the gold from. And then on top of that, I'm wondering what can actually be done about that. Like, yeah, I know it's coming, but I don't have an army big enough to resist it. And I doubt the foresters have the gold to do anything about it. Hmm. Yeah, their servers still don't work. So. I'm not sure how this is going to work out. Hmm. Well, I guess we'll figure that out in future episodes, won't we? So, if you enjoyed this video, use the uh, thumbs up button down below, hit that, give it a like, make the YouTube overlords happy. And while you're down there, if you want to find out what's going to happen next, how things are going to play out with Ramsey and Iron Wrath, what's going to happen with Marine and Daenerys, and all that good stuff, well, hit that subscribe button. Use the notification bell, that way you know when I'm uploading the next video and you can keep up to date with what's going on. Until next time, thanks very much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And remember that life does get rough sometimes. So good luck, have fun, stay awesome. I'll catch you in the next one.